Hi, family. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good night. Um, happy, nope, fantastic Friday to you wherever you are in the day. I pray that you would have a blessed day. Some are preparing to uh, get out and head um, out of the home this evening. Some are out this morning and some are out and about this afternoon. I thank you, Lord, for the day, for the blessing of the day, for the grace and the mercy of the day, Father. Continue to order our steps. And um, our reading today is titled, Drinking from the Living Water. So by your grace, Lord, we have another lesson to come to that we'll read and share. Uh, I, um, I tell you, you can send your prayer requests. Um, we do pray um, for one another here in this space. Um, an invitation, a hello to uh, anyone new that has come by and stopped by to visit the channel. Uh, we have some new family members that came on this week. Oops, sorry. New family members that came on this week so welcome welcome to uh, my youtube channel my name is miss norma and thank you so much and uh our scripture lesson for november the 11th from the reading drinking from the living water is john 7 37 and 38 which reads on the last day that great day of the feast Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scriptures have said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living waters. Amen. That's John 7, 37 for our reading, 37 and 38. For our reading for November the 11th, family, let us pray. Abba Father, we say thank you for this day wherever we're meeting you at, whether it's morning, afternoon, good evening, Father, or the nighttime hours. We thank you, Lord. We pray, Lord, that there is a blessing here for everyone personally as well as the, as the collective blessing that we always pray for. We thank you, Lord, for keeping and remembering our children throughout the day our young people, our young ladies and young men and people with uh, young families and people with adult older families. We thank you, Lord, for the strength of marriages. We thank you, Lord, for praying um, for the securement and the restoration of families, Lord. Our families here in this YouTube environment also those that we don't know about lord let the prayers go out for healing and restoration to all our land most of all father we thank you for the forgiveness of our trespasses and our sins and we thank you lord that jesus is able to cover us individually as well as collectively all we have to do is go to him talk to him forge a relationship not just with Jesus, but also with the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for that wonderful gift that was left for us that Jesus said it was needful for him to go because the Comforter couldn't come while he was still here. So we thank you, Lord, for the blessings of the Comforter who has the ability to be with us right here in this venue, strong and present, and also be able to be with others, Lord, in strength and in presence. So thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us, for being with us. And Lord, thank you, Father, for breathing upon us. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Our reading for November the 11th. Drinking from the living water. She wasn't expecting her day to change as drastically as it was about to. At Jacob's well, a Jewish man asked her, 
a Samaritan woman for a drink of water. Sure, she'd had plenty of experiences when it came to men. In fact, she had gone from husband to husband and then to a living. As she engaged in conversation with Jesus and he revealed to her who he was, she realized he was quite different from the other men she had interacted with in her past. This woman's encounter with Christ is one of my favorite stories in the Bible. Her story reveals how quickly our lives can change during an encounter with Christ. From then on, we can drink of the same living water, a relationship with him. That he promised this woman, excuse me, her story reveals how quickly our lives can change during an encounter with Christ. From then on, we can drink of the same living water. Amen. A relationship with him that he, has pro that he promised this woman. In Psalms 34 verse 8, the Lord encourages us to taste and see that the Lord is good. When the Samaritan woman realized Jesus was the Messiah, she didn't ask him any more questions. Instead, she immediately accepted him as her Lord. Her life would never be the same again. Amen. Although Christ does not condemn us, an encounter with him does force us to face who we really are. This self-realization is not intended to make us feel bad or horrible. Instead, it lets us see how much we need Christ as our Savior. As with this woman, the feeling her life with one relationship after another? Are you filling your life with things or people who you hope will satisfy your soul? They can't. Only Jesus can satisfy. Only the living water can provide relief for your thirsty soul. Amen. And when we trust him for power, we can let go of unhealthy relationships, unhealthy habits, and addictions we have been, been depending on for fulfillment. We will no longer have to go from husband to husband in search of fulfillment. The living water will fulfill the needs of our souls and make us free to walk in the purpose God has for us. The Samaritan woman at the well immediately became a spokesperson for Christ after she met him. She went back to her city and told everyone about the man she had met. So it will be with you as well. Once you've tasted and seeing that the Lord is good, a new joy will flow from your heart and you won't be able to keep the goodness of the Lord to yourself. Amen. 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 Thank you, Abba Father, for whew, this lesson in the living word and the reminder what it is and what it can be to have a personal living relationship drinking from that water every day our reading today was written by Shoshana Mignot I hope I'm saying that right let us pray family Father we thank you for the, whew, the reminder Lord of 
drinking from the living water. Oh, Lord, just taking that in, eating of his word, having a good glass of prayer, of communion with the Lord. Upon our rising, whatever time it is, and our laying down to go to sleep, or maybe at midday when we need to have a glass of the living water because something is assailing us. Situations, sometimes people, Lord. But Father, for us to remember that we always have the living water. We don't even have to have our Bibles in front of us. We can just cry out and say, Abba, Father, fill me. Give me a drink. And I'll tell you, family, oh, yes, Lord, you will do it. So thank you, Father, for this prayer, for the communion, for the new understanding, the reinforcement, the encouragement that you give to us, Father, in this season, this small season of time and space that we're in. Continue to bless us and heal us and keep us. May we continually pray for our families, our personal circumstances, as well as, well as others that we might be concerned about. Lord, bless and keep and restore families. Turn our hearts back towards you and towards our homes. In Jesus' name, thank you, our Father. Amen. Blessed day, everyone. Uh, fantastic Friday, wherever you are in the day. Um, you know, I just said fantastic Friday. But um, as I said that, and um, it came to me, faithful Friday. So let's call Friday faithful. Um, a day when we... Uh, Remember the faithfulness of God and our faithfulness to him, and um, but mostly his faithfulness to us. So, Faithful Friday, family. So we have Thankful Thursday. We have um, Wonderful Wednesday. We have Terrific Tuesdays and Marvelous Mondays. And... Um, that's the week, our work week. And um, we're going to find, um, how about satisfying Saturdays, to be satisfied on Saturday. And um, we'll come up with them. We'll figure it out. That's my brain at work. And uh, so we're going to get ready to close out. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, and a special hello. Uh, on yesterday, I was um, at the store, and I was looking for um, some curtains for my living room, drapes, whatever. And I, um, I met one of God's children and her daughter, and so I want to say hello to uh, Kay and Adriana. It was so nice to meet you on yesterday. And um, the Lord blessed us. And we just had a little time of fellowship right there in the store. And by his grace, we prayed together and just uh, asked the Lord's blessing upon us all. Uh, Kay is uh, just recently widowed, and she shared that with me. And so um, prayers once more for the grieving and the brokenhearted. Thank you, Kay. It was wonderful to meet you. Adriana, her daughter, and um, thank God for the experience that we shared yesterday. So, Father, continue to use us, Lord, just to encourage one another. So, welcome um, to all to my YouTube channel. This is Miss Norma. I'm getting ready to sign off. Uh, 
Happy Sabbath, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. And by his grace, I will see you uh, in the morning. Uh, welcome, everyone, and thank you. This is Miss Norma. Mwah. I love you. And also, I said on yesterday, maybe I'll say it for a few more days, I won't be adding the songs to the uh, title anymore as I uh, was sharing. And uh, there was a, a copyright challenge, I guess, the title of the song being written. And so I won't be adding the songs anymore, but feel free to look on the... Um, playlist titled Songs for Devotional Readings. Uh, I added three more songs today I got from um, one of our uh, YouTube listeners, uh, Miss Marilyn. She sent three songs. So thank you, Miss Marilyn. And um, well, family, you all know Loquacious is here. So <laughs> I'm getting ready to uh, sign off. You all have a blessed night's rest or a blessed day wherever you are in the day. Um, you know your activities. And Lord, thank you for blessing uh, my YouTube family and this uh, space that we share by your grace, Lord, every day. Amen. Thank you, family. This is Miss Norma. Have a good afternoon, a good evening, a good morning, or a good night. Amen. Mwah. Oh, and I love you. <laughs>